CBAI. Hey, what's up? This is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for tuning in. Have you ever found that you really liked the verse one from one of your song generations and the chorus from another song generation, and you would love to combine them into one perfect song? Well, then this video is for you. Today, I'll show you how to take the section from version A of your output that sounds like this. And a section from version B of your output that sounds like this. And combine them into one seamless track. Join me as we explore sonic possibilities. Let's dive in there. All right, so we are in Suno Studio. If you don't know how to get there, you would just go over here to the left and click on the studio option here and it will pull up your working area. We don't have any tracks yet. What you're gonna wanna do is find your tracks within your library view up here. Easiest way is to go, if you've created a workspace, you could choose one of your workspaces, or you could go to all songs and pick them out of your library. I've already made a workspace for this that I've been working with. And I'm gonna take today two different tracks. So I've got this version right here. I'm gonna pull that in, creating a new track. And you will see by this little white line that Suno has detected that there's a pickup measure here. So I'll zoom in and show you. So it does not start exactly at uh, measure one. It starts a little bit earlier with that pickup measure. It sounds like this. All right, let's get section uh, our version B of the song. I'm going to pull that in as a new track. Again, Suno knows that in this one, the pickup measure is a little bit earlier. So let's listen to that. Perfect. What you'll want to do from here is divide out the song sections of each version of your song. I would recommend being detailed with this and listening closely as it will help your final track to be concise and sound smooth with the transitions. For example, this is my pickup measure. I'll click at the section transition, right click, or you could press command E if you're using Mac and that will split it out. So again, we're splitting and then click on the section header. Over here in the details panel, you will have the title here, and I would recommend you name it like this. For example, pickup, you, you will need to listen carefully as well, because depending on the version of the uh, output that Suno has given you, it will create the song sections differently in different places, and sometimes will create sections that don't exist. One, let's say version A might have a section that version B does not have. So go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll meet you back here. All right, welcome back. So you can see here, I've divided my, my version A and my version B out. I've named them version A and version B over here to help myself stay organized. And you can see there's quite a bit of variation between the two. For example, version A has a much longer intro and version B has a little bit longer of a pickup measure. If I'm scrolling along, you can see there's even more variation here. And so you will have to do whatever works for you. Uh, to, to divide it out in a way that makes sense. My sax solo starts in a different place. I have a little bit of a pre-bridge interlude, was what I called it for version B, as an example, before it goes in the bridge. But this is perfect because now we have lots of sections to work with. The next thing we're going to do is add a track. So I've added a new track. I'm just dragging that down, and I'm going to rename it A plus B. And I'm going to start mix and matching my versions. So let's say I liked the pickup measure from version A. I will copy paste and bring that down into the right spot. And then I can just drag along and it should start right at measure one. And maybe I also want to use the intro from version A. I'll put that in there. Something you may want to do, which I found helpful as I was creating this video, is if you click on the section header, you can go in and indicate in this A plus B track which uh, version you took it from to help yourself stay organized. So for me, I can add in little brackets here A to remind myself pickup is from A and the same thing for the intro. Again, just a little quick trick, quick trick to keep you organized. 
let's say from here I wanted to use the verse 1 from version B. I can copy paste that into my next spot here. And then what I will do is listen to make sure that the transition sounds natural. So I'll hit play now. Take a stroll around, you'll hear that classic funky sound. All right, sounds great. Again, you will hear a difference in production because of the way the Suno AI has generated the audio. That's okay, no worries there. We'll figure that out later. So uh, the next thing I wanna do is, let's say I wanna use the pre-chorus from A right here. I'll copy paste that in there. And make sure, excuse me, I used B. I wanna use the pre-chorus from A. Pre-chorus from A is over here, so I'll copy that and bring it down. Name it A, right here. Let's listen to that. Okay, that's pretty close, pretty accurate. Um, let's go over and to the next one that I want to use, which is, I would like to use Chorus 1. Let's drop that down in here and see how it goes. You may run into issues where your transition is not so natural and you may need to make some adjustments. So let me show you I one that where it's not so natural. Now that might sound good to you, but in my lyrics, it's supposed to say yet another vapor wave track. So he says vape a wave track right here, right at this uh, downbeat. But depending on the versions, it may be sung a little bit differently. Let me show you how to handle that. So maybe I just need to use a little bit of the pre-chorus from version B uh, before I get into the chorus, which is from version B. I'll name that right now. So I'm going from A to B, and there's just a little bit of a pickup note I need to borrow uh, from version uh, from version B to make this transition natural. So what I can do here is I can even combine a section. Maybe I just want to pull it about there, and then I want to take the section from chorus uh, pre-chorus of version B. I can still just copy and paste down in here. And now it's going to sound a little bit more natural, and you'll hear those pickup notes where he says yet another. And then he goes into Vaporwave track, so listen to that. Yet another, a wave track, baby. Perfect. So now I have yet another. I have this little pickup area that's got pulled in. And uh, so, and let's check the transition here as well. That's just pre-chorus A, and then I'm going into pre-chorus B. So I've actually combined the two into one. Let's try that and make sure it sounds good. Awesome. Working great. Let's go over to the next section here. So after chorus one, I want to use verse two uh, from section A. So I'm going to copy paste that in there. Make sure it sounds good. All right. So here my, I also can tell that there's a little bit of a pickup measure that did not come through. He's supposed to say no need to ignore, but you just kind of jumps right in there like this. So he says need to ignore, but it should say no need to ignore. So what happens if you come into this spot where your lyrics aren't really lining up great? What you can do is click on one of the section headers and then use the slider bar. And I would recommend holding down con the control or the command button on your keyboard. And then you can just granularly adjust things a little bit and you should be able to get a good uh, spot there. So let me try that out here. Maybe I want to do it like right about here. And let's see how that works. Perfect. So now I have a smooth transition, and that's how you can deal with these odd pickup measures that may be varia variations between your different sections. So what I'm going to do from now is continue uh, building out this track, and then I'll meet you back here once you've completed yours as well. Okay, so... Once we've combined our A and B tracks into one, there's a quick way that we can get a much more seamless sound to the uh, the track. It's not going to be 100% perfect, but it's great uh, to to since you can tell that there's different production uh, sound mixed sound to the different sections. This will get it a lot closer. Select your entire uh, A plus B track, and then uh, let's export the selected time range here and make sure that our other tracks are on mute. So I'll do that now. Again, you will select them all. 
go over here to the export window and then collect selected time range. And we'll export that as a new track. Okay, so we could uh, just go to the new song. That might be easiest. So I'll pull up my new song here. And then what I want to do from here is you'll see that there's no lyrics in here. I would not recommend remastering just yet. Instead, go to the dot 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 window, go to remix edit, and then go over to open in editor. So now we're in the editor, and I would like to use match lyrics to audio, which is up here on the dot dot dot, but it may be grayed out for you. I've been hearing from a lot of people that it's not working very well for them, this feature. So what you would need to do instead is open it up in the legacy editor. So that is up here, it's grayed out. Open up the legacy editor, it'll look a little different. Go up here again to the vertical ellipses, and then go to match lyrics to audio. And now I've got it here. So what you're going to do is copy paste or type in the exact lyrics of your new A plus B track. So don't copy paste in A, don't copy paste in B. Make sure that it lines up as closely as possible to your audio. If you can even put in little oohs and ahs there if your music has those little mel melismatic sections. All right, so I'm pulling in mine. I've done this previously, so they're all ready to go. So it'll look like this. And then you can uh, confirm and align them like by clicking this button. And it'll say aligning lyrics. It'll take a moment. This will be much better when you remaster your track than if you don't do it. Because if you don't do this, what I found is it makes up the lyrics and they don't... It's like a... The AI is just guessing what you're saying, so it says nonsense sometimes. Um, but once you do this, the system is tracking according to the audio correctly, so it'll pronounce things better. Um, so now what we can do is we can uh, go back here, or rather we can uh, just get out of this screen. And so now I have my uh, track here with the match. I've matched the lyrics to the audio. And then if you go over to the ellipses button and go to create from the drop down and click on remaster. I have been playing around with this and I find that subtle works better than normal. Uh, and I haven't tried high yet because normal already went too crazy. So go with subtle uh, and then hit the remaster. Close the window. And now you have two remastered versions that you can use to check and see if you like it more than your hardcore just A plus B track. If we go back into the uh, Suno Studio, you could uh, just com compare your remasters if you've got them in your workspace here. So uh, you could just go ahead and pull it in a couple of versions of them like this. And then you can compare your remasters and pick the one that you like by just soloing it. And then you would just solo your A plus B track if you wanted to check a certain section. So let me show you what it sounds like with uh, the A plus B here. We'll use a section that uh, did a lot of different variations. So I'll start it right here. And here is my uh, remastered, one of my remasters. So that can smooth out the rough edges a little bit because we've combined and just uh, Frankensteined ourselves into an A plus B track. But there you've got a way to more quickly get it to sound seamless. And so now you have the ability to combine whatever song versions you want into one great track. If you found this video helpful, why don't you give me a subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another CBAI video. Like the video if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. This is Cam with CBAI. I hope you have a good one and take care.